Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Vice President of Agricultural Commercial Operations Marketing for Bayer Crop Science LP, David Hollenrake. Good afternoon. And uh, I want to say thank you to the George Washington University for giving uh, Bear Crop Science the opportunity to participate in this awesome event. You know, as, um, as a, uh, a member of, of agriculture for my entire life, having grown up on a corn and soybean farm in western Illinois, I'm just delighted to be here. And as I think about uh, kind of where we're headed, uh, I'd like us to reflect upon a quote from the great Dr. Norman Borlaug, uh, who is the, uh, the, the, the noted uh, scientist that, that helped us with the Green Revolution. He said, there is no more essential commodity than food. And that's really what we're about here today. That's what we're trying to solve. Without food, people perish. Social and political organizations disintegrate and civilizations collapse. You know, as, as we both reflect upon this statement and as we think about this morning's dialogue, uh, I think we all know we have a daunting task ahead of us. Today, we have about a billion people that are suffering from malnutrition. And we talked about the fact that we're, we're a growing uh, community. We're going to have 9.7 billion people on the earth. And it was also noted that growing income uh, really results in a desire for people to eat like us. And as, as all this collides, uh, we've got a daunting task and one that uh, at Bear Crop Science we take very, very seriously. You know, what's required? What's required is we have to produce 70% more food than we have today. And that certainly won't, won't come easy. At Bear Crop Science, we take this challenge incredibly seriously, and we're calling for a new revolution in agriculture. What I'd like to do over the next couple minutes is really focus on the, the areas of focus for Bear Crop Science and really invite you into our company and help us uh, shape the future. The first thing at the core of Bear, uh, first focus area, is about leading innovation. A bear science for a better life, that's our slogan, that's our mission, but it's also what drives us. We're an innovation company that is about improving lives both here and abroad. We believe research is the key to enabling a healthy food source for everyone. We're investing a little over a billion dollars in research and development in our little unit, in our crop science unit, so that we can have an impact on improving the livelihood of others. And the fruits of our labor have been great as we've brought out many, many new inventions over the course of the last five years. Second focus area is about enabling farmers, both big and small, uh, to be more productive. Our role is to translate the science that we're conducting into meaningful solutions that enable vast amounts of, of, of yield gain. Through technology, we've now entered the age of precision agriculture. Uh, those of you over at Purdue, uh, you're very familiar with precision agriculture. We are too. One of the biggest challenges with precision ag is that most farmers aren't able to translate all the great data that they're collecting into meaningful solutions. Our role is to translate this data into, uh, into a way that enables them to produce more. So we're trying to transition precision ag to decision ag. Third fo focus area is driving sustainable agriculture and achieving food security. The challenge our customers are facing are real. We've heard them this morning. Too much or too little water. Weeds resistant to popular herbicides. And in fact, uh, it was noted, uh, farmers today are facing a situation where over 50% of the land uh, is, is challenged with either resistant or troubling uh, weed control. So why is this so important to know? It's estimated that weeds consume enough food to feed a billion people. We have to do something about it. We're taking this seriously and our goal is to find sustainable solutions to do that. Fourth focus area is it, it enhancing human health. Bayer is a bit unique in that we're a life sciences company. We have the opportunity to operate across plant, animal, and human health. And that gives us a chance to do something uh, differently in, in the marketplace. We talked a bit about Sub-Sahara Africa this morning. We created a significant solution uh, to, to assist the Sub-Sahara Africa region with uh, fight of malaria. Uh, we created 
a, a, a product called LifeNet, which is the world's first long-lasting insecticide that's impregnated on a net that allows uh, the, the, the population uh, to fight off this, this terrible disease. And the solution has truly helped thousands of individuals achieve a better life, and I'm confident we can do more. Lastly, and, and really the reason we're here, focus area for us is extending our partnership. I said it before, we're investing about a billion dollars in R&D, but that's not enough. No one company can do it alone. We have to reach out into the community, into academic, academia, into the public and private sector, so that we can create uh, opportunities together to overcome uh, this 70% need for increased food. That's why we're forging partnerships with people like Land of Lakes, uh, food chain partners like Kellogg's and NGOs. One example of a collaborative venture that we've created, again discussed this morning, is to try to fight the HBL virus with the Florida citrus psyllid. And uh, we've, we've partnered with the Florida citrus, citrus industry on basic research to help overcome this. The challenges we've discussed today are considerable, but they also re represent huge opportunities for us, all of us. As I said, I've spent my entire career in agriculture but I've never been more excited than to play a role in this business than I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Um, I, I, I do believe we can work together to create this new revolution necessary in agriculture.